So you let your pool pump run for 24 hours and then you turned it off for 24 hours and you noticed that you had the same rate of water loss whether the pump was running or not running. It didn't seem to matter. You're still losing water in your pool uh, and you've already determined that that amount that you're losing is more than you should be losing by doing a bucket test. So where this brings you is to the point where you need to start to differentiate between the different types of swimming pools. A uh, structural leak in a vinyl pool will manifest itself differently than a structural leak in a concrete pool. And that's why to proceed from this point, it should separate into uh, videos specific for whether you have a, uh, a leak somewhere in the structure of a vinyl pool or if you have a leak somewhere in the structure of a concrete pool. Now, additionally, you could have a leak in the structure of a fiberglass pool. However, that's pretty uncommon. That's one of the advantages of the fiberglass pools is they're supposed to just be kind of one piece uh, and that's it. If you have a hole in it, you most likely know you do because it'll be a crack. There should never be a big uh, crack in a fiberglass pool because that would definitely be uh, enough for a structural water loss. Now, if you have a fiberglass pool and you're experiencing leaks and you're wondering, well, what do I do? What should I, which videos should I watch? The ones that will apply to you will be the ones that relate to concrete pools because a fiberglass pool will have uh, similar things such as uh, hydrostatic relief valves uh, that could be problematic. So if you have a fiberglass pool and you're trying to explore uh, which videos you should be watching to discover where your leak is in the structure, then you should watch the videos on concrete pool structure leaks.